Yo, 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 what it do? We back with some more action. Today we got Elon University taking on North Carolina A&T in Club Corbett. This game went down to the wire. Game Day Nation, let's ride. Starting off this game, Cam Wood starts it off nice with a beautiful floater. Then my guy LaPrat comes through the lane with a smooth high off the key lay. But Love Bettis had the game of his career. Boy was letting it fly from beyond the yard all night. He also stepped up and played clutch defense whenever he needed. Comes up with a big steal, passes it off to Cam Woods for a little lay. But Elon wasn't scared of the matchup and they was going right at A&T. Great drive through the lane, beautiful pass to the big man. Did I tell y'all that Elon had them shooters? Cause Torrance Swanson, hey, if him and Bettis from A&T had a three point contest, I wouldn't know who would win. But check this out, Cam Woods, Jesus Christ, took that boy to dance class, stats map, pull up three. Oh my goodness. But love Bettis, one more time, pull up from three. Trey ball, knock it down. This gives the Aggies a 17-15 lead. But like I said, man, Elon was not afraid of the Aggies and it was taking the right to him. Three ball right back at you. But the Aggies play some fluent defense, force a stop, throw it out on the break, and Marcus Watson, the human highlight, I mean the dunk speaks for itself. And this right here is just great basketball from the Aggies. They force a turnover, their shooters spread the floor, run to the corners to give the ball handler an option to pass the ball. He finds Marcus in the corner, knock down. But Elon was coming to prove that they was here to hoop. And with this hook shot, this cuts the Aggie lead to one. And after another stop from Elon, Torrance Watson, one more time, Trey Ball. But hey man, I think Marcus and Torrance Watson are brothers. Like they wear number four, number five. They both got the headbands and they both got a burner from deep. But right before the half, Elon finds another Trey Ball in the corner to give them a 36-32 lead over the Aggies. And at this point, I just knew that it was gonna be a great ball game for the rest of the second half. Let's get to it. I mean, why not go back to the person that got you up at the half anyways? Torres Watson loses the ball, gets it back, mid-range jumper gets it to go. And my dog Sean, jab step, get to me lane, another hard arc and layup off the glass, lay him, 42-36 Elon. But oh my God, love betters, the human torch was on one tonight. Give me another tray ball from deep. But the way this game was going, you can't go under no screen because both teams was letting it fly. Max McKinnon joined the party. Talking about joining the party, Marcus Watson finds Duncan Powell down low and he finishes through a tough contact layup. But the Aggies are trying to run away with this game, so they had to get defensive stops because they're trying to. They can't. Max McCannon comes up with the ball again. Floater. And I mean, we've seen the bounce from Marcus, and now it's Torrance's turn. Get up one time. Hey! 50-47 Elon. And this is whenever Elon went on their run late in the game. Late turnovers by the Aggies is what caused them to not have more possessions on offense, which led Elon open for opportunities to convert to go get points in transition, just like they did here off the missed shot. He gets the rebound, they run the floor, throw it down, easy lay, just like that. But a t was getting some fouls and hitting free throws so the game wasn't too far away, but Max McCannon trying to close it out even more. Peace, love, happiness, and threes. All came from who? Love, Betis, one more time, from deep. And now we're seeing Elon force the Aggies to turnovers and now we're seeing the Aggies force Elon into turnovers, which is huge for them to come back into this game if they want to win. But the Aggies didn't convert off every turnover and even if they did, you still gotta play defense on the other side. But yet again, they let up another three. But when you got a teammate that's scorching hot in the game, you keep giving it to him. I was always told if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So don't fix it. This ties the game at 57. But Sean Hollerin said, man, look, just give me a screen and get out the way. Tween, tween cross, get to the lane, lay him. But the Aggies come right back down. They find Duncan Powell down low, who gets an and one. This puts the Aggies down one, 61-60. And with just under a minute left, the Aggies run up the court. They find Love one more time, give it to him with the game on the line, and hits a big shot to go up by two. The Aggies come back down, and they need a stop. They haven't played great defense all night, but they need it one time. Tries to dish it off, goes off his foot, loses the ball. Duncan Powell blocks it. They get it back. He did get another contest. Great defense from the Aggies when they needed it. They get the rebound, and this sends Duncan Powell to the line to go ahead and close the game out. 
Duncan Powell goes to the line to close the game out. Ain't nothing. Goes up. Clanks the free throw, but it goes off of the E line defender. Now it's Aggie ball all over again. The Aggies come back with the ball. They're trying to just run the clock out, but Marcus Watson said, let me get to the lane. Lays it, but smokes the layup out on Aggies. Elon Ball. Elon has one more chance to win this game. They're down by three, trying to find something open. They give it to Torrance, who's been hot all night. Just comes up short. The Aggies get the rebound. Let's just go off. Game over. Aggies win 66-61 in a nail-biter close game in Club Corbett. It's your boy Jay from Game Day Nation. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, and we out.